Hello and welcome. Today I've been asked to choose from the most beautiful actresses of the 1970s. They've been randomly chosen, so let's see who we get and find out whether you agree with me or more likely disagree. I hope you enjoy the video. Right, so we start with Olivia Newton-John, Morgan Fairchild and Joanna Cameron. Well, I'm, I'm not a fan of Morgan Fairchild. I actually preferred her in the 90s when she played Chandler Bing's mum in Friends. So for me, it's Olivia Newton-John. A beautiful actress and a beautiful person too. The okay, next one is Jane Fonda, Pam Greer and Jill St. John. Oh, this is hard. But not because of, I like any of them, it's because I don't. Um, I don't like Fonda's politics. Jill St. John jumped into Natalie Wood's bed too quickly. Right, because she's got such a stunning body, I'm going with Pam Greer. Right, this one's tough for the right reasons. Um, Linda Carter, Jane Seymour and Bo Derek. Well, it's between Linda Carter and Jane Seymour. And anyone who watches this channel will know I've got a very big soft spot for solitaire. So it's Jane Seymour for me. Right, Lonnie Anderson, Ornella Mooty and Suzanne George. Right, I'm choosing Ornella Mooty. I love that Mediterranean sizzle. Well... My favourite Charlie's Angels on this one, so we're going to skip straight to my point. Um, it's Cheryl Ladd, no competition. Kate Jackson, Farrah Fawcett and Raquel Welsh. Ah, it's not fair putting them all up against each other or putting Raquel Welsh against anybody. Um, Farrah pushes her close, but it's Raquel Welsh for me. Right, so we're putting them up against each other now. Um, Raquel Welsh, Ornella Mote and Jane Seymour. Well, I'm going to shock you all here and I'm going to stick with my favourite. So I'm going with English Rose, Jane Seymour. Right, Cheryl Ladd, Olivia Newton-John, Pam Greer. Right, another one that doesn't need much explaining. Um, Cheryl Ladd for me, every day of the week. Right, so now I've just got to choose between the two that... All right, I see. So this is the final. Right, this is now an impossible. Oh, like I've already said, I've got a serious soft spot for her. Both are stunningly beautiful, but I'm going to have to choose Jane Seymour. Yeah, Jane Seymour. Right, 